Hey YouTube, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy here. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about socks and sock storage uh, today. These are the shoe boxes that I use to, uh, or the, excuse me, the sock boxes that I use um, for my uh, for my socks. You can see them here. And this is what I use for um, my mid ankle socks, my over the calf socks. I um, don't have a box solution for yet. Uh, that's something I'm still working on. But these are made by Woodlore, which is part of Allen Edmonds. And uh, all of these socks are actually um, sourced from London Sock Company. And uh, I just wanted to do a really quick video today talking a little bit about why I chose these types of socks and uh, what it is I like about them, what I don't like about them, etc. cetera. Uh, I've recently uh, transitioned for winter to over the calf socks. Um, and so I haven't worn these in quite a bit. Uh, the reason for that is because as uh, We've all, and this is a transition that a lot of the, the folks in the shoe groups have done, is uh, we're um, going to shorter uh, hems on our, our pants so that uh, we have kind of what we refer to as no break instead of a, a, a half break or a full break. I used to be a full break guy. When you have a full break, the pants actually cover um, the shoe a little bit um, and hang down a little bit. Uh, now that I'm going to no break, they don't, uh, which means that mid-calf socks uh, get cold, especially when you're sitting um, outside. And since I travel a lot for work, I'm outside a lot and uh, it, it's just colder. So I got over the cap socks so that uh, there's more material and keeps my leggies warm. So anyway, but uh, I like a lot of different patterns. And so um, what I've done is I've done patterns like these. This is a nice pattern type, right? Um, and I like to pair um, kind of a, a complicated pattern with a simple shoe. So I would take this shoe, uh, which is a, uh, it's a Bruno Magli uh, Camino, and I would pair it with this pattern. Uh, always try to do a contrasting color and try to do a contrasting pattern. If I have like a, a straight or a striped suit um, or, or, or a plain suit, um, I would do this pattern, even on like a, a bird's eye pattern or something like that, uh, have this, it, this would contrast the suit and it would contrast the shoe. Whereas if I've got a more plain pattern, uh, like a uh, polka dot, and these are little pin dots here, um, I would do those with something that's a little bit more um, subtle. Now this actually has a lot of pattern on it because it's hatched grain, but nobody can see that, right? So I try to use that kind of as a plain one. And try to drive it that way. So uh, you'll notice that I have a couple of uh, socks that are the same here. I have two of these, two of those, two of those, uh, a couple of others. I have this one and this one are the same. Uh, <laughs> those two are the same. Those two are the same. Uh, and this is because I joined the um, Sock of the Month Club from London Sock Company, and they do not automatically remember that you already have a pair of socks. So uh, if it's in your queue, they send it. Uh, the queues are really, really difficult to manage on your phone and uh, even harder to see the patterns on your phone. So um, that's uh, just been a problem. I'm not a big laptop guy. I don't use a laptop for personal unless I have to. I have one, but I try not to use it. So uh, if I can't do it on my phone, uh, it's just a pain for me. So anyway, so um, now when you get into the really, really complex patterns like a, a plaid, I like to do these with a texture combination. So I'll do it with a suede plain shoe. Uh, that way it's a really, really offsets the, the, the difference there. And then sometimes what you'll see um, with um, something like this, I'll do a pattern like this, which is a square pattern. I'll wear it with um, a square pattern suit. And sometimes I'll do this with a brogue. So now this is a boot. So it's uh, it's much different, by, and it's navy, which is different by itself. Uh, but it gives you the idea, kind of the way to do it. Now, um, you know, so the uh, so you'll do planes, um, also with brogue. And so I've got a nice uh, Adelaide here by J Fitzpatrick, and um, I would pair that with just a plain one because the sock is plain and the shoe is not. Again, try to make sure that there's a contrasting color combination. You don't want to have something that's too close. Otherwise, it'll wash out. So that's it. Um, just a couple of ideas on different uh, um, sock and uh, shoe combinations and a little, little insight into uh, my sock collection, which uh, I've no longer subscribed to the, uh, 
the thing with uh, uh, the Sock of the Month Club, because I think I have them all. <laughs> but uh, anyway, wishing everybody a great weekend, and uh, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy signing off.